Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at this. This is the Imusa Mini Chopper. So what's special about this is that I only paid $9. Um, I paid less than $10 for this. So this is a new company that's um, putting out really cheap products. And we're going to be looking at it. Now, I did buy this previously. But the first one didn't work. There was something wrong with it. It was making a horrible sound, so I had to return it. So this is my second attempt. And um, we're going to be doing a little bit of sampling. So let's open it up. Alright, so it has some um, this. Like I said, this brand is really cheap. I mean, that's why I bought it. Because this, this name just doesn't appeal to me. But it's definitely something that the price appealed. So there you have it. So it does look nice. And uh, the problem I was having with the first one is that I would press here and it would it would it wasn't working, so I had to return it. So before we move on, let me plug it in. Well, it's kind of weird. It's weird, but um, it's okay. Difficult to handle, but it does have a double blade like most of them. Nothing special about it. Just a very basic blade. It's not even that sharp. But I mean, for $9, you can't complain. And does that and it does have security because it, it won't activate unless you oh man this is not easy it won't activate unless you lock it in like that so let me plug it in um, before I plug it in I want to let you know that this has a very short cord just so you know. Okay folks, um, I think something's jammed here. Oh, there we go. So I'm having trouble with it. I was off camera. I, I successfully plugged it in as you saw, but I looked at the instructions and it's just not working out. There we go. So you gotta put in the blade. And then you gotta do that. Let me get off camera. Okay, so I'm going back to the manual right here. And it has a horrible blurry picture of what you're supposed to do, but I can't even figure it out. Maybe you can. I don't know what that is. I mean, this picture over here is nice, but this weird stuff. It says, turn clockwise until the bolt locks with the base. And over here it says, insert the bolt over the metal shaft on the Base, lining up the bowl locking tabs to the locking slots. So I did that. Oh man, this is bad. So I did plug it in. You can feel it's, it's not unlocking because it has this locking tab right here. This locking tab that has to be pushed. And this 
should be unlocked. It's just not unlocking for some reason. So this is the second attempt I have at this this um very cheap brand. That tab right there should have unlocked it. And you should be able to press the button. But it's not doing anything. <sighs> so <clears throat> let's try that again. You put that in. You put Sounds right. And then you put that in. So I make sure it's um, it's plugged in and it is plugged in. But it's not a lack of power, it's just that this locking mechanism. Oh man. I was all excited about this, you know, nine dollars. What a shame. I don't know if there's another locking mechanism. No, this is just a base that just holds the thing in place. Let me unplug it. So that goes in there somehow. But it still doesn't want to unlock. So this is the second attempt at making this work out and it's, it's not working out because I've had other brands of this uh, chopper and they do work out. I know how to make them work. You put this there and you hear that click. You put the blade and then here's the other click. This should have clicked, and it's not clicking, it's all loose. Maybe it's this side that you want to go in, but if you try that side, it doesn't do anything. It's not going to go in. It has to be this side. So that one goes in, but it doesn't unlock the button. This button will press down once the safety mechanism unlocks it. But as you can see, if you take it apart, let me make sure it's unplugged. It's, um, you move it, even when you're moving it like that, it doesn't unlock. And even if, if you plug it in, let me plug it in. So it's, it's plugged in right now, so I'm going to be very careful. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So I got it to work. It worked once. What the heck? It worked once. That's that's encouraging. I'm happy. get it sometimes it gets locked in there like that so yeah if you move it by, by hand like this let me use a pencil I want to electrocute myself okay so if you move it manually like that So that actually works if you use a pencil. That when you put when you put that and you put the blade and you do this, it doesn't work. No matter how hard you press, it doesn't work. Okay, so let me look the instructions a little bit more. Okay, so I reread the whole thing and I did go over it in Spanish. 
And same thing, that blurry picture. I don't know what that is. But I cannot make this work. It's all... It's locked up. I would go for another brand. Because um, I, this is the second attempt I have at this brand. And it, it, it is very cheap. So all their products are super cheap. But they don't work. So, so that's the only flaw. And that's a big flaw, I think, that you buy something very, very, very cheap, but it doesn't work. So this gets a zero stars out of five. So I'm going to take this back. It gets a zero stars out of five. I do not recommend this brand. I think it's um, junk. It's a junk brand, probably the worst brand in the world. And um, the only good thing about it is that it's cheap, so... That's it. Everything else is lousy about it. This isn't that sharp. It's not sharp at all. Which is good. You don't want to cut yourself with this. So it's good that it's not sharp. But um, it's just a toy. A toy that doesn't do anything. But um, it's not really a toy. You wouldn't want to give this to a child because they'll... Wow, I'm trying to put it back in, and even these instructions don't fit. It's too tall for the box. This way, too tall that way. You have to put it in here like that, and then bend it. They could have made a instructions that would fit the box, but they didn't even bother to do that. So you, this goes in here, and it has to bend like that. Horrible, horrible brand. Shame on you, Imusa. Shame on you, Imusa. Shame on you, HEV, for carrying this junk. So, thank you for watching. Subscribe and thumbs up.